Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Young Family in our YouTube channel. Today is July 7th, 2021. I've been wondering for a while whether I can use the easiest way, the cheapest way, the safest way to turn pink hydrangea blue. Today, in this video, I'm going to show you the results. Stick with me. Hey, guys, check out this hydrangea bush. This hydrangea is called Hydrangea microphylla. It is also commonly known as big leaf hydrangea. Big leaf hydrangea can be classified in two different categories. One is a mob height hydrangea, the other one is lace cap hydrangea. Actually, this hydrangea bush is called mob height hydrangea. You can check out the flower head right here. You can see it's really big and very, really big. See here? I put my hand on this flower, you can see, big difference. So actually, the flower head is really, really big. This is called mop head hydrangea. Interestingly, just next to this mop head hydrangea, there is another lace cap hydrangea. Let me show you this one. This is a white color lace cap hydrangea, just next to this mop head hydrangea. But they both called big leaf hydrangea. This hydrangea bush produces pink color flowers. I have been wondering for a while whether I can turn pink mop head hydrangea blue if I lower down soil pH. Except white color hydrangea flowers cannot be changed. You can turn pink or red hydrangea blue. Of course, it is interchangeable. You can also turn blue hydrangea pink or red but it really depends on the soil pH. If the soil pH is less than 5.0, it is acidic. The hydrangea will produce blue color flowers. If the soil pH is over 6.5, it is alkaline. The hydrangea will produce pink or red flowers. If the soil pH is between 5.0 and 6.5, the hydrangea will produce multiple color flowers, such as blue, lavender, purple, pink, or red. Fortunately, there is another hydrangea bush just next to this hydrangea bush. Let me show you this one. You can see relatively small. Actually, I think this hydrangea bush is pretty much the same as this hydrangea bush. It is also mop head hydrangea bush. Starting from the, at the end of April or maybe in May, I began to treat this hydrangea bush with some specific reagents. At the beginning, I have no idea whether this works or not. I just want to prove my hypothesis. So I treated this hydrangea bush, but I did not treat this hydrangea bush. Actually, this hydrangea bush as a negative control to prove my hypothesis whether it's correct or not. But right now, you can see there's some flowers. I'm not sure you can see some difference on this hydrangea bush. Actually, to be honest, most of the flowers are pink color, but you still can see some blue color flowers. So let's take a close look at these flowers. So guys, let's check out some flower heads. You can see here, this flower head. You can see some blue colors on this flower heads. And check out this one, you see here, kind of more blue color on this flower head. And check out right here, you see here, blue color. Actually, it's pretty blue, you can check out here. It's kind of pure, some flowers. And check out this one, you can see blue color. Actually, this flower head and this flower head it already lost over one month, I think so. Actually, at the beginning, I saw some bluish color on these two flowers. I was feel very excited. It is about at the early, in early in June, actually just one month, around one month after I treated this hydrangea bush. Actually, I use that specific reagents. I have no idea whether it works or not. So I just occasionally, water this hydrangea bush, try low down the soil pH until one day, I think maybe 
June 9th, something like at night, when I watered this hydrangea bush, I saw some kind of like a bluish. Oh my God, I feel so excited. Then the next day, in the morning, I check out. Definitely, I can see some blue colors on some flower heads. Actually, that's why these two flower heads, it's kind of already lost like, over one month. I think these two flower heads, is kind of like more fresh. So let's turn around to check out the other side. You can see, actually, you see here the color. It's pretty blue, to be honest. So even though most of flowers on this hydrangea bush still pink, actually, to be honest, at that time, this hydrangea bush already produced a lot of flowers. As we know, if you really want to turn pink hydrangea bush blue, low down the soil pH, it is really time consuming. Actually, for this hydrangea bush, actually, I just spent maybe one month. At, to be honest, I just mentioned to you, not maybe once per week, I just water this hydrangea bush. Because at the beginning, I really don't know whether it works or not. I just have a try. If it works, I'm going to keep watering. If it doesn't work, it doesn't matter. But you know, you can see the color difference. So, I mean, most of flowers is pink. It's true because you never know the soil pH. I cannot measure the soil pH. Actually, the reagent I water this hydrangea bush is relative, the concentration is relatively low. I have no idea how much change the soil pH. And also, because this hydrangea bush at that time already produced a, a lot of flower heads. So when the flower heads if really is already blooming, if you really want to change the color, it's kind of hard. So the early, the better. When it is still the flower bed, flower bed, buds, if you change the soil pH, that will be changed a lot. But anyway, you can see some difference on this hydrangea bush some flowers really really give you blue color flowers it's kind of like a multiple color flowers on this hydrangea bush you cannot find any blue colors on the flowers just a pink color it's pure pink colors it might be easy you turn some pink hydrangea variety blue but for some specific hydrangea variety it might be hard to turn blue another thing i want to mention you the alumina content in the soil is very important for hydrangea color change. If you can increase alumina content in the soil, definitely you can get more dark blue hydrangea flowers. So guys, let's check out another hydrangea bush. Actually, this is two hydrangea bushes. They just grow next to each other. On the left side, it's relatively big. On the right side, it's small. So let's take a close look. If we take a look at the bottom, you can see here, this is a big hydrangea bush. On the right side is a small hydrangea bush. Maybe we can take a look at from the top. Check out right here. This is a big hydrangea bush. And uh, just next to, to the big hydrangea bush is another small hydrangea bush. Generally speaking, these two hydrangea bushes produce pink color flowers. Same as Mopahead hydrangea bush. I only treat this small hydrangea bush I didn't treat this big hydrangea bush. Generally speaking, if you just take a look at it from outside, kind of, you cannot see any difference. So let's take a close look at this small hydrangea bush. Let's move some leaves. Then you can see some flowers right here. You can see some bluish flowers. And right here, and you can see, right? And see some, especially these two flowers. You can see big difference. Even though this is small hydrangea bush, some flowers still produce pink colors, but you definitely can see some like a bluish on these flowers. But if you check this big hydrangea bush, actually it's really hard to find some bluish color on this flowers check out so let me move around the flowers 
I don't think you can see any like bluish flowers. So definitely you can see some big difference between these two hydrangea bushes. Hi guys, in today's video I clearly demonstrated the big difference of hydrangea flowers without treatment or with treatment. You can see the big difference. Actually, I just use very, very cheap, very easy, available in any grocery store. You can buy it. Then I load down the soil pH to change the hydrangea flower colors. It really works. Actually, the cost is really, really low, just as I mentioned. Actually, the time is just about one month. You can see the difference. Nice. So in today's video, I'm not going to tell you what kind of stuff I use to load down soil pH to turn pink mob hide hydrangea blue. I'm going to make another separate video specifically talking about this kind of stuff and how I load down soil pH to turn pink mob hide hydrangea blue. So guys, if you like today's video, please give a big thumb up. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like, share, leave comments down below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.